Hey you guys, my name is Cherie and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out a new foundation. So I was on UltaBeauty.com and I was just scrolling, trying to see what's out there, what's new, what I haven't tried because I just like to try products. <laughs> and on the website, they have like this section of like clean products. And what I mean by clean is it's cruelty free, it is vegan, it's free from all type of parabens, and and it may also be dermatologist tested. So I came across this foundation. It's by Exa Beauty. I've actually never heard of Exa Beauty, but I was kind of drawn to it based on how the foundations were ordered. The foundations were actually ordered from darkest to lightest. Usually when I'm picking out foundations, I know that the first, I don't know, one to 30 shades most likely will not be my color. So when I saw that this foundation was ordered from darkest shade to the lightest shade, I was like, hmm. I've seen another brand do it and that was a black owned brand so it was kind of expected. I do not think that Exa Beauty is a black owned brand. And if you go on their Instagram page you can tell that they're really into diversity and having people of all colors, all shades use their product. It is in the color Naya 140. So here is the bottle that the foundation comes in. It's like a frosted glass with exa, 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 and this beautiful teal top. I think it's really sleek, really nice, and it's kind of modern too, right? So let's try this on. Now that you guys are all nice and zoomed in, I'm going to apply a primer. I don't have the primer by Exa Beauty, so I'm going to use a primer that works well with my skin. I love hydrating primers. Ooh, it always feels so good. And now I'm going to take two drops of the foundation and put it on the back of my hand. One, two, there we go. Let's just dot it all over my face. I recently went on vacation, so I have a little bit of a tan, which is awesome because I did purchase this foundation with the summertime in mind. Of course, in the summertime, we get a little bit darker. That's why when I'm picking out a foundation, I just want it to go darker instead of my winter shade so that it would match throughout the summer. Ooh, it is very hydrating oh gosh or is it the primer i think it's really beautiful and it's lightweight too this foundation is buildable which means i may be able to add another oh is that like a citrus mm, it smells really clean you're gonna do this side oh this is going to be so nice during the summer just for like a light coverage all over the face you know sometimes you don't want to wear makeup but you want to wear makeup this is that foundation i'm loving it even on my forehead is blending in nicely because my forehead gets tan quicker because in my car I have the sunroof, so I think the sun is just beaming down <laughs> directly onto my forehead. And yeah. <laughs> so this foundation right now, it has a very dewy type of look. It's supposed to be a semi-satin finish. I never understand what that means. Like, what, is, what does that mean by... um? What do they mean by satin? Because satin to me has a little bit of a sheen to it. So is it supposed to be more on the shiny side? I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comment section if you're familiar with a satin finish. I don't know. This is giving me my bare face with moisturizer on or some type of SPF on. It's not giving me like foundation. It looks good though. <laughs> so I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and I will get back to you in a minute to let you know my final thoughts.
makeup all completed. I went very natural, very simple, like a little bit of an effortless look, and I love it. <laughs> As for my thoughts on the Exa Beauty High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation, I have to say that I really, really love this product. I can definitely see myself wearing this foundation throughout the summer. It's a good color. The finish is nice and natural. It's very lightweight. And according to the box, it's charged with anti-pollution activities, okay? So none of those pollutants from outside will be getting into my pores. And lately I've been really into skincare, so to hear that pollutants will not be getting into my pores, that is a plus for me. So if you're someone who is interested in lightweight makeup, someone who just likes to put the foundation on and go, I feel like this would be the perfect foundation for you. It doesn't take much more effort than just applying it. And maybe you'll want to put like a little bit of a powder over it if you're not into the highly moisturized look. But other than that, this is super easy to put on. No problems. Effortless looks. I can't wait to put this on in the summertime. I can see myself wearing it to the park, to the mall, on vacation, everywhere. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you're interested in trying this foundation by Exa Beauty. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!